Over the last few days, there's been multiple sightings of what people are calling these mystery drones over at least 10 counties in the state of New Jersey. These strange images, which you can see here, depict some of these sightings of flying objects of some which are quite large, some up to the size of a bus even, and lots of people across the internet and the world are speculating about exactly what these flying objects are. The sources from the UK surmise that the drones could be Russian. They could be hostile intrusions from the likes of a country like Russia, while sources from the US believe they're more likely to be of Iranian or Chinese origin, especially with the technology that's being used here. There is a gravitating towards the explanation of these being from Chinese technology. And UK sources have said that it, it can't be something like an uh, Iranian mothership sending all these different drones that are rather large sometimes and fly for quite long periods of time. Footage like this, shared on social media, purports to show an orb UFO or UAP objects passing right by a drone from New Jersey. And also, F-16s were sent up to chase or pursue some of these drones, but the drone was shown on camera in unconfirmed footage to actually outrun the F-16 jet. Which is very strange if it is a drone, because it's not usual, according to them, that a drone would be able to outrun an F-16 jet. Now, there was actually a hearing just a couple of days ago. The officials that spoke at this hearing that discussed these mysterious drones and, and what's been going on in the state of New Jersey, and they had actually admitted in this hearing that they don't know what they are and that that is of a potential concern. What is going on in New Jersey? Or the Bureau is actively investigating the, the situation you mentioned, just the unexplained um, sighting of drone activity um, over, uh, over that part of New Jersey, um, including uh, proximity to sensitive sites and uh, uh, areas of concern. We do not attribute that to an individual or a group yet. Uh, we're investigating, but I don't have an answer of who's responsible for that. It is concerning. Um, is, there, is, is the uh, public at risk? Is, is public safety at risk? Are we concerned that there are nefarious intentions that could cause uh, either national security or, or a public safety incident that would put Americans at risk? There's nothing that is known that would um, uh, lead me to, to say that. Um, but we just don't know. Now, for those people out there who say that this is likely some kind of government technology that is being tested, and that's certainly the case with comments like this, where you have a pilot who said that they believe these drones must belong to our government because if they belong to individuals, our government has the ability to jam the signal and bring them down. Now, because they're not doing that, it must be the government or something because it's a huge safety issue for anything to fly in controlled airspace without permission. If these objects didn't have permission, the FAA would have to divert aeroplanes away from these objects and I've not heard as a pilot or seen anything like that happening. So my conclusion is that they either belong to our government or they belong to people who have permission from our government or they are UAPs, and that our government is powerless to do anything about it. I'm guessing they belong to our government. Now, the point being made here with people who have this opinion is that if the government didn't know anything about what these objects were, that they would have downed flights, they would have prevented flights going on, and the outcome would have been very different over the last few days. But usually tests are not done over these busy areas. Why would these tests be done in such a way over busy areas that would cause alarm and concern from the general public and nothing to be said about them? And as you heard in the hearing, the officials said they don't know uh, exactly what they are or what their source is. And someone else responded in this thread, I don't think they are ours, because they're also, in a minimum, 
They've been seen in the UK, Germany, Brazil, and Argentina, in addition to the US. And in the US and the UK, they are hanging out a lot at military bases. I personally think they are UAPs or of non-human origin. But if they are of human origin, I think China is the more likely source. There were similar sightings at three military bases in the UK of these mysterious drones being detected over these military bases including at RAF Feltwell, RAF Lakenheath and RAF Mildenhall. Pretty much the same thing that these unexplained mysterious drone-like objects were reported to be flying over these RAF bases and one reporter even saying that when the jets were scrambled to pursue these uh, drones, one RAF pilot was reported to be referring to them as UAPs. Now the interesting thing about these military bases in particular is that nuclear weapons were transferred to them in recent times. And so you've got a mix of speculation here of what if this is some kind of foreign actor who is uh, doing surveillance, surveillance of these sites, possibly connected to the rising tensions in the world uh, with Iran, Russia, and certainly the most favourable explanation seems to be that this could be in some way linked to Chinese technology and surveillance from China. So with the Department of Homeland Security believing that they, these drones are avoiding detection by traditional methods, uh, by the way they behave sometimes in a rather strange way, yet they do have indications of being perhaps more conventional, potentially from a foreign actor at the same time, it comes to reason that we also mention on this channel, due to the research we do, that we are in a time where we also have to beware of lying signs and wonders and deceptions uh, in terms of UAPs uh, and, and various other things of that nature too. So I think it is important that we mention the risk and danger of lying signs and wonders as well. So, so far these are the current thoughts and uh, the current official announcements and discussions. So please do leave in the comments what you think this could be. What do you think the source of these mysterious flying objects and where do you think they're coming from? Thank you for watching the video everyone and I'll see you all soon.